اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ تعالی وبرکاتہ یو ار موسٹ ویلکم ٹو رمضان لو وی وانٹ ٹو لک ایٹ دی ورس اف دی گلوریس قران دیٹ ریلی انٹائزز اس ٹو نو دیٹ وی ار سو انڈیئرڈ ٹو آلمائٹی اللہ concerning the verses that talk about fasting at the point Allah says wa idha sa'alaka ibadi anni fa inni qaribun ujibu da'wata da'i idha da'ani Allah says whenever my servants ask you concerning me hmm. what a very big epithet a very interesting way for Allah to describe someone Allah says you are my servant so dear to me so special to me the one that serves me not like a slave but the one that serves me like one that's obedient and the one that loves me and i love him in service to me allah says whenever my servant ask you concerning me when they ask you oh muhammad about me where am i tell them that fa inni qaribun i'm very close to them and this makes us understand that this closeness is not the closeness of saying one object is standing next to another one is not the kind of closeness that we say one thing is tied or binded to another thing is a kind of closeness not just in proximity but a closeness that has to do with love and affection of one person to another is a connection between the creator and his creature is a kind of uh, closeness that we cannot possibly explain as human beings because Allah says in another verse that wa ana aqrabu ilayhi min hablil walid i am closer to you than even your jugular vein i am in you sort of and you are part of me sort of you are part of me not in the sense that i'm included in you but in the sense that is best known and best understood by almighty allah and this same way all metal is so close to us and yet is above us without being aloof and is also below us beneath us without being suppressed allah is close to us without the proximity of two objects standing together but is solidly behind us not in the terms of location but in the way, in the way of uh, taid of assistance of strength and of being there for us in all times is the one that can hear us whenever we are calling is the one that can catch us whenever we are falling is the one that hears us and listens to us not with the ears that human beings will use in hearing because you already heard it before you said it you already knew it even before you thought about it is aware of our situation is aware of our circumstances he knows our conditions but he wants to establish this love between us and he wants us to communicate with him he wants us to speak to him he wants us to call on him just like we say iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in we do promise in surah al-fatiha as a form of affirmation there is only one that we shall worship and from only him we seek our help so allah wants us to understand this personal relationship between us and him personal love that he has for us and that's why he says fa inni qaribun i am indeed very very close to you allah says i'm just a call away and when you make dua when you call on him you are calling on him not because he doesn't know what you are going through not because he doesn't know your situations and circumstances but because he wants to reiterate the importance of expressing love and affection between you and him as the creator of all mighty allah and allah says allah ya'lam man khalaq will i not know the one that i have created he made us out of nothing and he brought us to become something he can turn us from being nobody to becoming somebody because this is something that is very easy for him to do for all of us i want all of us to take advantage of the fact that allah loves us and is close to us he is your lord and your provider in your times of need he is the one that hears you in the time of call he is the one that understands all your innuendos he knows your feelings he knows your thoughts he knows your imaginations he knows your dreams he understands your pain he can remove your strife he can make you to thrive he can make you to succeed he can make you to survive everything about us is in him and everything is in in his hands allah is just a call away we should take advantage of this month of ramadan to seriously call on allah ask him what you want request for what you want and let him be the one that will do it for you put all your trust in him because he's going to respond to us not because we are the righteous callers but because 
He is the generous giver. And we put our trust in him. May he answer our prayers. It's a matter of love between the servant and his creator. And Ramadan is the best time to call on Almighty Allah out of love so they can give us his love also. We should pray, O oh Allah, give us your love and the love of those who love you and the deeds that will endear us to you. And may Allah give us the best of this love. Let's do this again next time. Assalamu alaikum.